you find a lot of times where companies will try to save money on ingredients while making their product appear better than it is. So what are proprietary blends? This is a question that I've gotten an awful lot, so I want to clear some things up. A proprietary blend is something that you'll see usually advertised on a label, and it's a mixture of ingredients where each ingredient is listed, but not in its specific amount. Instead, the combined total of all the ingredients will be listed, uh, usually in grams. Okay, so we don't really know how much of each individual ingredient is in there. So why is this an issue? Well, because you don't really know what you're getting. So what do I mean by that? I'll give a little example. This is what you might see on the back of a label. It's got creatine in it, arginine, beta alanine, citrulline malate, and caffeine. These are some of the ingredients that we see most often. Let's start with creatine. Usually you'll need about three to five grams for this to even make a difference. Five for men, typically three for smaller, uh, for you smaller ladies out there. And that of course you guys know is uh, just like a phosphate donor. So it's gonna increase your ability to build muscle, uh, do more reps with higher weight and get less exhausted. So eventually it adds to muscle mass. So it helps you build muscle. Arginine, that can create nitric oxide in your body, can produce nitric oxide, so that's gonna help give you that pump, improve blood flow that people are looking for. Not one of the more effective pre-workout ingredients, but generally to be even remotely effective, you might need something like three to six grams. So, so that's a decent dose. Now, citrulline malate is gonna be much more effective for increasing nitric oxide, and that's because it doesn't get taken up by the intestinal tract, by the intestine, and used for energy, for the energy of those cells. Um, so it's gonna be more bioavailable to the body, better absorbed. Usually with citrulline, you're gonna need, with citrulline malate, three to six grams for that to be effective in a pre-workout. Beta alanine great for helping uh, buffer muscles from lactic acid. So that's the main goal of that. That's what that's used for. But usually it's gonna be take about 1500 milligrams to even upwards to five grams to be effective in some people. Now that's a heck of a lot for most people. You'll really be getting that tingling feeling, but you're gonna need a minimum of about 1500 milligrams. And finally, caffeine. Most people are gonna need about three milligrams per kilogram of body weight. What does that amount to in English for the normal person? That's about 200 to 300 milligrams. Okay, so what I've shown here is that you need quite a large dose for most of these ingredients to even be effective. If eight grams is the total dose, that probably means that there's a lot of ingredients in here that don't have enough to be even effective. So you're kind of getting bamboozled by that product. Not really a great product. Also, it should be noted that the ingredients that are listed first are the ones that there, are the, there is the largest amount of. So that's how that works. And it's a problem, of course, because you don't really know what you're getting at all with that. You can guess as to what's in there. You know that the largest amount of any ingredient in there is creatine because it's listed first on the label. But other than that, you don't know if the rest of those are sprinkled in. You find a lot of times where companies will try to save money on ingredients while making their product appear better than it is by putting the cheapest ones in first and then just sprinkling others in there. We used to have a joke at work with my friends about, oh, sprinkle a little bit of leucine in there just to make a product look great because you know, recently leucine has been the big buzzword. If you put that on a product, it's gonna sell really well. And that's what gets me to my next point. So why would a company even have a proprietary blend if it's confusing to the consumer? And usually the reason is to save money because you can skimp on some of those products that are more expensive while including cheaper ones in the product. And so then you're able to market it as, wow, having all these, insert buzzword, insert buzzword, insert buzzword, all these wonderful ingredients, <laughs> you know, but really it's just, you're just fairy dusting with a lot of cheap ones that really won't have as much of an effect. So you always want to look for products that have the ingredients listed on the label and in the appropriate amounts. Um, another uh, reason that a company might do this, of course, to save money is that during the manufacturing process, 
they do not have to actually test each individual ingredient and see that the right amount is in there. Instead, they'll throw all of them in a mixture and just test the end product and make sure that all of those together come out to the right amount. It's a lot more expensive to test and make sure each one in there is in the right amount rather than just throwing them all in one group and doing one test and saying, okay, yep, everything's there, it's all in the right amount. So that's why they would do that. Finally, if you're giving a company the benefit of the doubt here and saying, no, you know, this, there's no, nothing nefarious about this uh, and not even to save money. They're not even doing this to save money. They're just uh, wanting to protect their proprietary blend. So they don't want copycatters coming out and copying the exact ratio and the exact quantities of ingredients that are in there and then selling it and knocking them off. Now, that's something that's easily said, but most of the time I think it's really done to, uh, for companies to save money and make a lot of money on a cheaper product. So hopefully that clears some things up. That's what proprietary blends are, also known as fairy dusting. So if you ever hear that word in conjunction with a product, specifically a pre-workout product, because that's where a lot of this takes place. Now you know.